this. I'm going to ask you, Steve. With these hurricanes going on now, Irma and Harvey and Henry later on, Jose. or Jose later on, is God using this to bring America back to him? Yes, he is. Okay. My radio host, Mike Savage, you can listen to him on WJR 760 WJR at 11 o'clock. Uh, in Michigan, or check your local listings anywhere you're at if you feel like listening to him. He's a uh, commentator who does uh, conservative radio, conservative radio streaming on the radio, but he's also a Christian and does is a doctor of health and stuff like that. But he said one day, once Steve, he said that America is going to go back to God. And I believe that. And I believe God's using it for one reason. Because what has America... What right now has America done or lost, should I say? I say it this way. America has sinned sin against God. What has America lost right now? A bunch of people and a bunch of, a bunch of land. Spiritually, what has America lost? God. God. Their first love. Yeah. Exactly. America's lost their first love, and God's using this to bring them back to their first love, so in turn, they can go back to God, because Mike says they're going to go back to God. And I fully believe what he said, because everything so far that I can tell that he has said has been coming to pass. So, I mean, just check out some of his books he's got. His newest ones, uh, God, Faith, and Reason, but the one before that is Trump's War. Trump's War has a lot of information about what's going to happen and what is going to happen. And what he has said so far has been what's happening now. All right, question number four. What correlation between the story of the flood and the story of salvation through Christ do you see? So what basically it's asking is, compare it to salvation. What with the story of Noah's Ark and the flood do you see compared with salvation? What is it similar like? They both needed Jesus to save. They both needed Jesus to be saved and get right with God. Right. They both needed Jesus himself because when Jesus was the only one that could stop the flood. I believe the guy's watching the way of the wicked. But technically, Steve, who's... And bring, and bring those who are real, those who are real for God. But technically, Steve, if I may ask, who stopped the flood? Stopped the flood, God. Okay, let me ask you again. Technically, who stopped the flood? I still say God. Okay, when Jesus said that, Jesus said that there will be a sign, correct? Yeah. That the flood was, and then you'll know that the flood will be over. What was that sign? Promise. No. Let me ask my wife. God said there, Jesus said there will be a sign, and you'll see it. It'll be a rainbow. A rainbow. Besides that, there will be a little dove with what in its beak? Flower in its mouth. Olive branch. Yeah. And he said that will be the sign. You'll see a dove with the olive branch in his beak, and that'll be the sign that the flood is over. Now, so technically, who stopped the flood? <laughs> Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Because is not the Holy Spirit unto like a dove? Oh, well, yeah, but the Holy Spirit is a God. Right. But what happened when Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist? A dove descended from the sky, and he says, this is my son who I'm well pleased in. So, in every aspect, when something like that happened, the dove was always present. So, therefore, the dove is the Holy Spirit through Jesus. Jesus came down as the Holy Spirit to stop the flood. So, the Holy Spirit stopped the flood. In every aspect, everywhere you see something, the Holy Spirit's always present as a dove. How do you feel about God's assessment of the human heart as being evil from his youth? I personally think it's correct. Um, because we all sin um, coming up from being young um, because of the fall of Adam and Eve. Yeah. Or more correctly, should I say, first Eve and then Adam. Um, so... 100% correct, obviously, because God is always correct. True. 
True. Well, the question is, how do you feel about God's assessment of the hu- oh, human heart? Oh, okay. Human heart being evil from the human heart is wicked. But we're all born to sin. She's right. So well, I mean, put the man it's correct, and it comes it's correct in its truth form. I misread, misread that wrong and heard it wrong as well. But, yes, we are all born to sin. We are, we are all born that way because of the fall of Adam and Eve, like she said. Anything to add, Steve? Nope. All right, so we are going to actually make this a four-part message as we still have quite a bit to go through, and we need to get some prayer in and an advertisement for Taco Bell where we are at right now. They have these new naked egg tacos. Um, They look really delicious. looks like an egg that's fried with some stuff in it. Anyways, thanks for having us, Taco Bell. Yeah. And you can give us a call at 586-823-2368. This is Prophet Steve. And Jeff and Andrew. And his wife, Kim. And for a prayer? Community Cloud 222 at gmail.com or call us and leave a voicemail. Voicemail is only at uh, 302-844-844. Eight four four three. That's one three zero two eight four four T G I F. And may I add? And my wife doesn't know this yet, but sorry. T J F has to take a brief commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Amen. Time to give me a pop. Okay, guys. I just had to add that in there because that's what we normally do. That's what we normally do. So that's our first part of the message today on God's promise. It's going to be a, you know, four-part message. And uh, so it's going to be a four-part message on the promise, God's promise. So let's uh, end this part of the message. We did the five questions. Uh, Please feel free to study the scriptures which are on the front of our podcast, which are... Isaiah 54, 1 through 10. And Genesis eight twenty through nine seventeen. So Genesis eight twenty nine through seventeen and Isaiah fifty four one through ten. Let's just say we send our condolences out to those who are suffering from the hurricanes or whatnot. And uh, Lord, we pray right now that uh, that you whatever whatever you're doing with this Lord, that you do it according to your will. And according to what you have it to do, not according to what we want or what man wants, because man's evil, man's, man, man is evil, and he's not, his heart's deceptive and got evil ways of doing what they're going to do, so do it according to what you have it to do, Lord, and for those that are uh, suffering a loss of somebody that went away, please pray for them as well. And so we pray for the families um, that are affected, um, both the ones that are being affected currently and the ones that are evacuating. We pray that uh, you give them safe travels and a place to go to and people that do not have one. Um, we pray for their evacuation, that it would just it would go smooth and they would find a shelter. Um, And we pray for those who are being affected right now, those who uh, are evacuating to uh, shelter places and things of that nature. Yes, Lord, for God. We, pray, we pray for protection. We pray for the family, especially those that need help. You know, we pray for the lost that were, that were found. And also, Lord, we pray for you know, around the Gulf of Mexico. Pray for from Florida up to North Carolina and upper towards... Uh, Say to like Georgia, and Tennessee, parts of Alabama and that are affected, Lord. And Lord, you know that they have to come close to you, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' name, Amen. And we also got to pray real quick for uh, our friend Dr. Robinson. She's in the hospital because she wasn't breathing properly. And to a family reunion, had a great time, and she started not breathing properly. So we want to pray for her that. Uh, Everything works out with that, Lord, that you re- either restore her, her lungs, so that she can breathe properly, or if you are to call her home, Lord, that you do that, and you do it as soon as you can, Lord, because 
we don't want to have somebody like her suffering on here no more because on earth suffering is not fun. Everyone knows it's not fun to suffer. Yes, the, we also pray for the guy outside, Taco Bell, or for the cat. He, he's, cause he, you know, he needs God, and he's, he really, really needs God. No more can I say, that's when I cut his shirt. So we're going to pray for him tonight, Lord, for the God, in Jesus' name, that gets right closer to you, Lord, for his kids, education, whatever he needs, Lord, for the God. In Jesus' name, amen. And Lord, we pray for my wife as well, so next time when we do a commercial break, she will run at the button. And that is our show for today. We hope you thoroughly enjoyed that and hope you get a blessing out of it. Lord, we also pray that you consecrate the message that we spoke, that it gets written on the tablets of our heart. And Lord, we're sorry that we forgot to pray beforehand. And it comes forth, Lord, Father God. You, you spoke it. It's going to come forth in Jesus' name. Amen. And come visit us next week uh, to be determined for the time for TGIF. And we are having a blog coming up. Um, we will give you guys the information for that as well. And we are sorry for not posting on Thursdays like we normally do. And we haven't been doing it for a long while. So we'll try to do it on Thursday at 12 o'clock like normal. Thank you and God bless you. This is TJ from reminding you, trust in the Lord in all your ways. Lead not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He shall. Take your path straight. Direct your path. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless.